A very warm welcome to this channel. It's Sunday the 24th of July 2022, the James Neal Cooper channel. My name is James. Now, before we get underway, you may remember a couple of days ago, maybe about four or five days ago, we were talking about the banks in Hernan province. Do I have a map of it? No, but yes, I do a little bit later on. Um, in fact, I'll put it in now while we're doing this. Yeah, here we go. So, there, put it in now. The banks in Hernan province that investors were unable to take their money out. And there were some pictures that came onto Twitter related to the tanks coming into the city to protect the banks. Now, I will admit that I did make a mistake and I didn't actually check this through because these tanks did not get into Hernan. In fact, it's about 450 kilometers away in Shandong province, I do believe. So that is wrong. What's happening with the banking, I don't know at the moment, but these tanks didn't go into Hernan province, into the cities to protect the banks. Um, so many thanks to Twitter for giving some false information. You really do have to be careful with that. We will get to the Free Gorges Dam and the crack and the ship's elevator in a moment or two. But in another area of the, um, another area of where? In China, in, 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 in where? Uh, uh, Qinghai. Um, uh, Qinghai province, there have been some sandstorms and the picture you saw at the very beginning, this was of Twitter, I do believe. I don't know if it's fake or real, but it looked like a really good thumbnail. But you can see some of the images right now of some sandstorms there. It is really near to a very big desert or is in a very big desert. So this is pretty common, but to actually get some great footage of a sandstorm looks like this. Let's have a look at the weather now in China. Now, as always, the hand is by the Free Gorges Dam. This is not the musical weather. I am actually going to speak with this. And first of all, the hand is by the Free Gorges. I possibly said that. But do have a look at Chongqing. Chongqing is Kutan, which is 660 kilometers away from the Free Gorges. And eventually there is going to be some quite heavy rain that's going to appear there. The rest of China is relatively, you could say, dry. And I have been speaking to a few people in Shanghai. The temperatures have dropped down to about 32 degrees. It's not as baking as before, but it's still hot. Here you can see all the uh, weather related to Chongqing. And that means the levels of the Yangtze is going to go up. And that means you're going to see higher levels on the free gorges, possibly in a couple of days. But we'll keep an eye on that. Let's have a look at the levels for you. Kutan has gone up at 168.42. Yingchang, about 20 kilometers south of the Three Gorges, is up as well, 42.20. The reservoir itself is said it's gone down, um, but it's about the same as 24 hours ago at 148.82. The inflow is 17,500 and the outflow is 13,400. Let's take a quick break and we'll go into the, what? We'll go into the crack on the ship's elevator in a bit more detail. Do you find yourself unhappy in the morning by the way you drink your normal coffee? Are you happy with the cup that you drink your coffee with every day? Or does it make you depressed? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do have the solution. 
for $15, a snippet at the price, you can buy a mug right here in the description below. How to buy a mug. $15, this goes to, after all the expenses, etc., the money raised from this does go to help a child here in Cambodia. It's not just the money given to an orphanage, it's the food, the clothes, the slippers that we will buy the children once we sell all these mugs. Now please, if you can afford $15 of your money to get a cup like this to support the channel, but to mainly support an orphanage here. And that's all we're asking. I'm really hoping to do this before Christmas 2022. Now, let's go back to the show. And welcome back. Now, the cracks at the Free Gorges Dam seem to be making the rounds again. Now, we do know, and we can see right here, that if you look very, very closely at the side of the Free Gorges Dam, there seems to be quite a few cracks related to the ship's elevator. The ship's elevator started operation maybe like six or seven years ago. To be honest, I don't really know the actual date. But they do seem to close down at least once a year for service, maintenance and repair. I think about four days ago, I did show a Twitter feed related to someone who did go inside the actual Free Gorges elevator with a lot of other people, and he showed the video of it going up uh, related to that. But this seems to not, it seems to get repaired via a botch job, so to speak. They put a bit of extra concrete in it, they put a bit of extra rebar in it, but it doesn't seem to improve. It's something to keep an eye on, as always, related to any crack. This is the largest dam in the world, ladies and gentlemen, and you wouldn't expect any kind of crack at all. Imagine if your house, if there was a crack like that big, you would be sort of worried about it because cracks only get bigger and bigger and bigger with the wear and tear. The elevators are used constantly up and down. It takes 40 minutes to do the whole transit of the using the ship's elevator on the Free Gorges Dam and the amount of water and the water pressure and when it's not being used and the levels are getting high and they don't want to use the sluice gates secretly they would use the elevator and we've seen these satellite images related to that for the water release so it's under a big amount of pressure and that is the crack cracks on the ship's elevators at the Free Gorges Dam update. Now, if we go back to Hernan province again, you can see on the map here, there have been some reports of another tornado which has been happening. I'm not too sure if this is going to be allowed. So I'm going to do two videos today, one with this and another one just with a picture to <laughs> see if it is allowed. But this is the tornado taken a couple of days ago in Henan, Hernan province. Now, away from there, and let's go to the northwest of China, to Xinjiang province, where it's a little bit sensitive related to the Uyghurs, and you know the story which is going on there. There was a American who did go to a small town there and had a little chat with the locals, and they talked about Biden, they talked about America, they talked about Russia, etc., etc., have a little listen, but there's always there is a translation at the bottom. It's quite interesting what the locals think. Nigo
Even in this tiny border town deep in the Pamir Mountains, there is no... Meanwhile, in the same province, now this province is massive of Xinjiang, it's the size of Turkey, and this is a province just in China. The propaganda coming out in Kashgar, which is sort of like in the middle of the whole province, that there is a water park, hence the beautiful girl in the thumbnail, and this is the people there, I'm not too sure uh, of their... Um, where they come from exactly, whether they are Uyghurs or whether they are Hang people, don't know with that one. But here are some people enjoying a water park in Kashgar. Now, is this Chinese state propaganda media or is this just a bit of tourist information for fun? It's getting a fine line between both nowadays in China. Have a look. What has Sophie, my beautiful girlfriend, been up to? Well, she's been on her mo motorbike out and about, and I'm not too sure where she actually went to do some videoing, but it is on the We Travel channel. Do check it out in the description and the pinned comment, hopefully below, where you can just go to, the, to one video, just follow the links, just go to videos, just go to playlists, and you can see a lot there. This is a channel which I am desperately trying to engage in and I would really love people to subscribe and to watch the hours there because it's all about um, Thailand and it's all about Cambodia at the moment, not just the regular tourist attractions, some on the um, off beaten track and this is what Sophie did yesterday. Here's a small snippet for you. Hello everyone, today I bring you all to see the Trakot Lake in Siem Reap. So here You can see the mountain, but too far, I will drive there a little bit. One more thing to go, something really clever in South Korea. You can see here is a highway, but in the middle of the highway, there's solar panels right in the middle, an area which is not used on the highway, on the motorway or the freeway, generating electricity. But that's not all. Underneath the solar panels is basically a bicycle lane where people can ride their bike safely right in the middle of the highway. I just saw this today and I thought, wow, that is a really clever idea. So you're not really destroying any extra part of the landscape. You're just building a very long solar panel, unlike a solar panel or a solar farm. Very clever indeed. Well done, South Korea. Thumbs up for that one. And that brings us to a close on Sunday, the 24th of July, 2022. The like, subscribe, share, to resubscribe, uh, and a big thanks to everyone who has helped this channel grow. I am looking to get up to, by the end of this month, ooh, 31,000. I think I need another 10 subscribers. So please do check if you, your description, your subscription has disappeared, or if you like the channel and the content, just a quick um, subscription is fantastic. I make videos on a daily basis near enough. On average, it's one a day. Sometimes it's two uh, for just because there's too much information to put onto one show. Yes, I am rambling. Thank you for your time. God bless to each and every one of you.